CataractCoach.com. Equanimity under duress, recovering from a complication to deliver a great outcome. And our guest surgeon is Dr. Alexander Grandinetti from Brazil. This is a case of a six-year-old girl, and the capsules have been stained, but even then it's very elastic and it's difficult to make a capsule rexus. But with some good skill, that is achieved. Now the lens is very soft. It was a young child, so just the IA probe is enough to remove the entire lens. That looks great. So now the new IOL is going to be inserted. So filling the bag with our viscoelastic. Here's the preloaded injector. Viscoelastic is being placed. Looks pretty good. And the single piece monofocal lens going in the bag. Watch carefully. The lens is delivered. And pushing a little more. Oh, wow. What happened? Watch again. One tenth normal speed. Due to lack of proper lubrication in the injector, it shoots out very forcefully. And the IOL just punctured the posterior capsule. This is the time for equanimity under duress. This saying by Osler, and then reinvigorated by LaSalle LaFall, a famous American surgeon, means that when things go south, when there's a problem, when there's duress, you have to stay calm and collected and do what's best for the patient. That's the equanimity. So now the lens is rotated into position, and we need to clean up a little bit here. There's a broken poster cap, so you can see the, op the opening there. So now at this point, pars plana trocars are being placed. I'm going to do an anterior vitrectomy to clean up the prolapsed vitreous, and then we're going to keep the IOL centered, and it's in the bag. So the nice part here is, we're able to clean up all of this issue here, this prolapse vitreous, in addition, clean out that anterior vitreous, but also open up the central posterior capsule. And now, completing the anterior capsule axis to enlarge it just slightly, the outcome is great. There's the view of the fundus. Everything looks good. So this patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. Very nice case. The patient won't need a YAG capsulotomy later. And there was essentially no downside to this. What's the key of the whole procedure? It's equanimity under duress. So Dr. Grandinetti is obviously a very experienced surgeon. And when things went south, when there was a complication, he stayed calm. And here's the outcome on the post-op visits. It looks fantastic. The patient's happy and the surgeon's happy. So remember, keep your calm. If you have a great video, submit it to us. Go to cataractcoach.com, sign up for that free daily email, and submit your video. We want to learn from you. Show me that you can stay calm and stable under stress.